If I had to start from zero with only a personal training certification, along with all the knowledge I have today, how would I get started with becoming a successful online fitness coach? In the beginning, you all, I struggled a lot. And what I went through, I don't wish that on anybody. All right. Some of the stuff I wish for you all, because you got to, you know, you got to learn a little bit. But the deep failures that I went through and the deep struggles, I don't wish that on you at all. So the purpose of this video is to teach you exactly what I would do right now to shortcut your learning curve so that you can get better results and so that you can save money and not go through all the struggling and the pain that I went through. I graduated with a degree in exercise science from Valdosta State University. I already spent $70,000 on my education, but after I graduated, I actually spent an additional $70,000 on fitness and business coaches so that I can learn how to become successful. My only goal after graduating was to become successful. I wanted to make a lot of money. I wanted to work for myself and I was willing to do whatever it took. I went down that road. That $70,000 wasn't on just one business coach. It was actually between seven to eight different coaches. And the reason why I spent so much is because after I went through one coaching program, I learned something but I didn't learn everything that I needed to know from that one person. Every single coach was missing something. There was no one-stop shop. After going through these seven to eight different fitness and business coaches, I finally cracked the code. I finally learned how to scale my business and grow my page and do all the things, right? So I came to a crossroads. I could continue to scale my business, which I did. I scaled it to around twenty dollars to $25,000 a month, and I was very happy at that number. And I could continue to scale it to around $50,000 a month, and I'll probably be capped there, or I can make a lateral move and start teaching other fitness coaches how to do exactly what I just did, to scale to twenty dollars to $25,000 a month without spending $70,000 or years trying to acquire the knowledge to figure everything out. And that's exactly what I chose to do. So why does all of that matter? And why should you pay attention to that? It's because with all the knowledge and training that I have built up to this point, I want to teach you exactly what I would do if I had to start all over today. Right. So that's why I'm excited for this video. And it's going to be pretty cool. The first thing I want to go over is defining what a successful online fitness coach actually looks like. So there's a ton of different ways to define success, but in terms of today's video, we're going to define success as money and freedom. All right. So you being an online fitness coach, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for money and freedom. So if I had to start all over again, the very first thing that I would do is look the part. All right. Why is that so important? Well, looking the part is all about marketing yourself. And if you're a coach and you're teaching other people how to get in shape, you should probably be in shape, right? Right. That doesn't mean that you need to be 4% body fat. You just need to be a great representation of whatever you're marketing. Okay. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I want to give you another example. Say if you're a woman and you're teaching other women how to build a nice booty. Well, you should have a nice booty. You can't be having a, a pancake booty teaching other women how to build a nice booty because you're not a great representation of what you're marketing. So whatever you're marketing, you just need to know that you need to be a great representation and you need to look the part, all right? You are literally a walking billboard. Your body and your physique sells itself. You really don't have to do that much talking when you look the part, right? And people will judge you on how you look first before you open your mouth and develop a relationship with them. If you have person A and you have person B, right? But person A looks the part and person B is book smart, right? So they know how to get in shape, but they don't look in shape. If you went to the gym and you saw person A stand right next to person B and you're looking to lose some weight and get into great shape, one looks the part and one is book smart, 
who are you going to go to first without even talking to them? You're going to go to person A first. Why? Because humans are superficial and we all judge books based off of its cover. All right. So this is why, number one, you need to look the part. So if I had to start all over today, I would get in really great shape and I would be a great representation for what I'm marketing. And remember that you don't need to have a crazy gigantic booty if you're teaching other girls how to get booties right you don't need to be four percent body fat if you're teaching people how to get lean but you need to be a great representation of whatever you're marketing that's the big takeaway so that's step one look the part step two the second thing that i would do once i looked the part i would then go to a boutique gym and get a job at a boutique gym all right I would not suggest to go to an LA Fitness or a Lifetime Fitness or Equinox or anything like that. Go to a boutique smaller gym and work there. So why would you want to work at a boutique gym? Well, number one, you're working with the owners, right? So if you're working with the owners, that means that you're working directly with people who have experience in sales, marketing and managing a actual business and you're not learning through some corporate ladder right so you get to learn sales experience from someone who's gotten their hands dirty and these are the people that you actually want to learn from not to mention this is also going to be your first round round of mentorship Which is really cool because once again, you're working with the owner, right? And you're not working with some salesperson who learned sales from the previous guy, from the previous guy, and they learn from some guy all the way in corporate and they never really did it themselves, right? So you get to learn directly from the owner. And once again, this is going to be your first round of mentorship, which is extremely important. Not to mention the pay difference is crazy compared to a boutique gym versus a gym like Equinox. And you also want to pick a boutique gym that has members already. OK, this will be a telltale sign that the gym is already doing well. If you go to this gym and there's no one in it, that's a telltale sign that they don't know about marketing, sales and management. Right now, the gym that already has members in it that gym should feed you clients because once again they already have a big workload so they're looking to drop that workload off on other trainers and plus they're also looking to grow their business now some of these boutique gyms may ask you to pay rent at the gym and if you don't have any money which if you're starting from zero you don't have any money you don't have any money to pay rent. So how do you still get the job at the gym? Well, you let them know that you want to work for free. You have your certification, you're diligent, you always show up on time, you're a hard worker, and you're willing to do whatever it takes to get started because fitness is your passion and you wanna learn from somebody that is successful, right? Any gym owner, if you told them that, they're gonna be like, yes, okay, cool. Start tomorrow, 7 a.m shadow me right or they're going to pair you with somebody else that's already working right now in the gym and have you shadow them now a couple of things can come from this right you being around the gym and you being around people that are more successful than you you get to learn a couple of things you get your first real world experience on training clients in person. You wanna start in person so you can get an idea of how training really is and see if you actually really do like it or not. Now, if I did this for the next two to three months, I would gain sales experience and also I will work with a wide range of different clientele and I would now know what kind of clientele I actually enjoy working with. I got to be around, once again, people who are more successful than me in different areas now. Now my skill set didn't only grow in the gym, but it also grew in different avenues as well. I learned a little bit more about real estate. I learned a little bit more about investing. I learned a little bit more about physicians and, and being surrounded by nurses all day and the process that they go through. So I became more well-rounded as a person and as a coach and that was awesome.
So starting at zero, going into a boutique gym, by month three, you should at least be at 3K per month, right? And then at 3K per month, you should have a little bit of your own clientele and you should have a combination of the gym fitting you clients and also you gaining your own clients from referrals. And that's how I'll get my first $3,000, three to five, I would say three to $5,000. One last thing I wanna point out for your first zero to three months, this is your proving yourself period, okay? And what I mean by that is this is the time where you go all in. You become the absolute best trainer at the gym. You want to shadow the best trainers and you want to be the best trainer. By month three, you should be at the point where you're well-versed in regards to knowing how to train your clients, knowing how to talk with your clients, and also, once again, learning how to enroll and sell clients for your in-person coaching services because you have direct mentorship from the owner of that establishment. Now, once you have a few clients under your belt, the next thing you need to do is pack out your schedule. And why do we want to pack out our schedule? Well, because we want to make more money. If for the first zero to three months, you're now at 3K, well, from month three to month five, your goal should be to at least double your income to get to 6K or on the high end, get to around 8K, right? So now it's time to market your business and get more clients in the door, right? So how do we go about doing that? Well, when I first got started, I remember vividly going to the parking lots and passing out flyers all day. I printed off 500 flyers. I passed them all out. And one day I went to a wealthy area and I went to the wealthy areas Kroger. No one called me back. No text messages, nothing, not it. Later that night, I was scrolling on social media. I actually went to my page. I saw one of my views got like a thousand views. And I was like, hmm. A light bulb went off. I was like, why did I just spend all day outside in the parking lot passing out flyers when I made one post on social media and a thousand people saw it without me having to do any work? So that's when the idea of maybe I should use Instagram to advertise my business locally and have people come in locally. So what I would do and what I would do right now if I had to start all over today is any client I'm training in person with their permission, I will record them, right? And I will tell them, hey, do you mind if I take a video so we can see and analyze your form? And they were like, no, yeah, I appreciate that. So you take the video, you get different angles, right? And then you send it to them after their training session. And then you ask them this, hey, do you mind if I post this on my social media account? I won't put your face in it. That's how you're now going to start building content on your social media accounts. Anytime you're filming any of your clients with their permission and without their face in the video, you now take that content and just post it online. It's content, right? Somebody may see it. And that's where you want to start. And that's how you're going to get started with posting more content online from your in-person sessions. So instead of physically going to places where wealthy people hung out, I thought to myself, why don't I just virtually go to them, right? Virtually go to the places that are local to me. So I would go on Instagram and go to local fine dining restaurants. I would find the local golf courses. And I would also find local high-end retailers in the area because that's where the wealthy people, quote unquote, hung out at. And that's actually how I got started. And that's exactly what I would do today as well because when people now see my Instagram, they see number one, me looking the part, so I look good, but then they also see all of my clients I've been training in person and they'll see that I'm local to them. So I would go to their Instagram page, like a couple of their photos, and then DM them, right? So a couple of things is gonna happen is they're gonna be like, who is this person DMing me? And then they're gonna go to your page, which was my page at the time, and then they're gonna see all of my clients that I had trained that are local to them, right? And in the DM, I will let them know that they could have the opportunity to get a free training session. And I didn't just offer one. I let them know that I was new to the area 
and I'm looking to build up my clientele and I'm offering three free training sessions with me personally as a way to build my business, right? Not everybody took it, but some did and some like the hustle. Those are the people that came back. And these are the wealthy people that I were talking about a little bit earlier. So I was only getting in people who were about their money, about their business and had high standards, which was great because that's all I wanted and who really loved personal development and wanted to get better. So I started attracting in more people that I wanted to work with. And it was all from social media. And once I learned how to do this, that's when I started to spend all day on my phone going through different places locally to me and getting people in for a free training session, right? Within, I want to say weeks, my calendar was packed. I had so many clients and even the owner of the gym was like, how are you getting all these clients in? Because you're not running ads, you're not doing all this stuff, right? How? And then I taught him my formula. And after that, it was cake. My calendar was packed. I went from making $3,000 a month to $8,000 a month with a packed calendar, which was awesome. And this was one of the first times in my life where I actually felt more in control over my life because I knew how to get money, right? I knew how to hustle and get money and that felt good. I knew how to get people in the door at the gym and that was the only thing that mattered. I needed to get people in the door because I knew once they got in the door, I could sell them because I looked the part and I had sales training from my first mentor, right? That that was the owner of the gym. From there, I was able to pay some of my bills, pay some of my debt down. And, you know, I was just hustling every single day. I was working, but I have money now. So let's talk about how we're going to be creating more freedom with your business, because we got one part of the equation down. We got the money. Now we need more freedom. And now it's time to create the perfect schedule for yourself, because what I found is that after I got people in the door, I started just packing out my calendar and working every single day, right? And so I was like, man, you know what? I'm in demand now, so let me change my calendar a little bit. From here, I organized my work days and only worked Monday through Friday. And I took the weekends off. So at the beginning, I was on other people's calendar, right? Because I was just happy to just get a client in and I was gonna show up whenever they had available. But when I became more in demand, right? That's when the tables turned and now other people had to meet my calendar because I was in high demand, right? I became a top of the line trainer. I became very well known. And now people, more and more and more people wanted to work with me, not only because of my Instagram strategy that I did before, but also because of referrals. Word starts to spread. And the really cool thing about this is that not all of my clients didn't want their face in the video. Some of my clients told me, yes, post it and tag me, right? And when you tag your clients, they also repost it on their page. That means you get into a new network of people. And those people see that you're working with their friend and now you just became even more credible and more trusted than just DMing them cold right? So now you're inside of a new network and now you get in front of their, those people and those people are going to start hitting you up, right? Oh, I saw you worked with so-and-so. I heard you're a great trainer. I want to get more information about your services, X, Y, and Z. That's how that works. So I organized my calendar where I only work from Monday through Friday and I was still making 8K per month, right? I didn't have to work on Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday was free time for me to spend working on the business or just hanging out and enjoying life. So I was enjoying life. I was working on the business, not in the business. And also I was dating. So I, I was going on dates and I was hanging out and being a guy and having fun. Right. So I was doing that whole thing. Right. So I then came to the point where even though I was in demand, and people had to now fit my calendar, I still, in a sense, was on their calendar because I was still working for them, right? I still had to wake up early on Monday morning at 4.30 so I can be at the gym at five o'clock to train my first client. 
that meant that I didn't have the freedom that I ultimately wanted. Now, at this point, my calendar is packed. I wanted to make more money because I was making decent AK already, but I didn't want to give up my weekends because I started really enjoying my weekends. So the question and the challenge then became, how do I make more money without giving up my weekends and still keeping my same schedule? Boom, like a bag of bricks, it hit me. I just need to become a hybrid coach, right? So I needed to find a way where I can still train clients in person and have clients online, right? And that was the thing. I was like, well, I don't want to use up more of my time in the gym because I was already limited on my time. I needed to make a lateral move and get some more clients in and get another stream of revenue in the door without spending more time in the gym, right? So hybrid was the only way. Being a hybrid coach means that I have clients in person and I also have clients online. So I started doing some research, just like a lot of you all are doing right now. How do I start an online fitness business, right? And I came across this app called Trainerize and Trainerize, I dove deep into it. I branded the app as my own and then I learned how to utilize the app. And then I started putting my in-person clients on the app so I can get more familiar with it. Once I got familiar with it and saw how easy it was, I then started marketing that same coaching program to my clients online who couldn't train with me in person because they either live too far or because I was already at capacity. And if you haven't watched my video on how to build and sell a coaching program using Trainerize, it's right over here. I highly recommend you watch that video after this video. So your goal, once again, if you're starting from zero, is start in person, get really good at in person first, learn some skills for free by shadowing other successful people, once you learn those skills, then you want to become a hybrid coach, meaning that now you have clients in person and also clients online. And what this is going to do is going to bridge the gap between where you're at right now in person, still trading time for money and being online, which is ultimately where you want to be at, where you don't have to trade time for money and all of your clients are online. So at this point, you're making a little bit more money, which is awesome but you still haven't reached success yet in terms of how we defined it at the beginning. Remember, it's money and freedom, right? So right now I have the money, but I don't have the freedom yet because I'm still in person trading time for money. This is when you wanna take some of that money and invest back into yourself. And so the number one thing I did was I hired a fitness business mentor and I got my second round of legitimate mentorship. And that's the same as that thing that I would do today if I had to start all over again. The reason why is because number one, you now have experience, right? With working with people in person. You know how to market your business a little bit, which is awesome. And you also know what your niche is. You know who you want to serve and you know how to serve them in person. And so in order to take my business online, there was much more than just, hey, do this, do this, do this. There was a lot of limiting beliefs, right, that I had to overcome when it came to taking my business online. And it was limiting belief of can I actually do it? Uh, will this even work out? There's a lot of people who scam people on the internet. Is this legitimate, right? So I had a lot of blocks that was limiting myself to take my business completely online because I was already making 10K a month, but I was burnt out. And so if I had to do this all over again, I would immediately take that $10,000 and invest immediately into a fitness business mentor. And notice it says fitness business mentor right? Not just a business mentor. It says fitness business mentor. So these are the exact steps that I would take if I was starting all over from zero and I wanted to become a successful online fitness coach. So if you already have experience as a personal trainer or you have experience with coaching people already, then you don't need to get more experience of going into the gym just get mentorship. Learn how the game works online. Online is where it's at. Just go directly to the freedom and money, 
right? So you don't have to spend your time learning how to do everything in person, et cetera. Just go directly to the person that's already done it, get the mentorship, learn how to play the game, and then get your dream life, okay? It's as simple as that. If you wanna skip these steps and go directly to the freedom and money, linked beneath this video is a free training of me teaching you exactly what you need to do to take your business online. And if you want my help personally, I'll also leave a link so that you can book a free strategy call with myself and our team. On this call, we'll talk about where you're at right now, we'll talk about the current challenges that you're facing, and we'll talk about your goals, and we'll create a roadmap to strategically get you there from step by step by step. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It definitely took me a long time to get through this video and write all this out and edit it. So all of the likes and the comments are greatly appreciated. See you all next week. Peace.